let's play that for Scott Treadmills for that is now his actual name. Has he changed it by Depol yet? I'm sure he's gone out. Next week, this is where we're calling him uh, Scott Treadmills. Next week, of course, we're going to torture him for cash for children in need and it'll be worth every penny because you raise so much brilliant money. You're always so supportive of these things and he will need your support because for 24 hours, he's going to be on a treadmill, uh, walking, jogging, trotting, crying, um, sort of questioning his life choices, wondering why he said yes, uh, all that sort of good stuff. It'll raise loads of money. We last night did a little cheeky half hour, which was all motivational tunes. If you want to listen to that, it's on the Sounds app, along with loads of great mixes that are all there to motivate Scott. There's One Hit Wonders, there's a Kitchen Disco from Safe Hill Specs, all on BBC Sounds. Um... Oh, I've been stuck in the hospital for five hours now, going to Leeds for surgery, missing my school residential for three days. This is Seb, who's 11, and Lisa, who's his mum. Seb, sending you loads of squeezes and love, my friend. Got some great tune, a lovely tune coming up next, and we just played Lizzo, so that was especially for you, Seb, OK? Now, <laughs> every day is a school day, uh, I, I find. And the other day I was listening to uh, The Unbelievable Truth. It's a comedy panel show on BBC Sounds. It's hosted by David Mitchell. It's very, very funny. The premise is you've got to sneak some truths past the panel, which are hidden amongst loads of crazy lies. And it's very, very funny. Call The Unbelievable Truth if you want to go and find it. Anyway, being a dog lover, and I know lots of you are dog lovers out there, I thought you'd... Wolves! can walk on tippy toes. Somebody buzzed in and went, hang on, is that true? And indeed, yes it is. Humans are plantigrade walking upon our entire flat foot sole to heel. Wolves, indeed all members of the canine family, are digitigrade walking on just their toe tips. Nice, see? Digitigrades. If it was playing an, uh, an Australian instrument, would it be a digitigrade playing a didgeridoo? Probably. Isn't that cool though? Wolves and dogs, they run on their tippy toes. It's just too cute. Let's play you this. And then we'll do a bit of fast track. <laughs> 